my personal value project, I chose creativity. Um, I would define creativity as the ability to problem solve and to find solutions with constraints, I guess. This is important to me because I spent a lot of time when I was younger just kind of creating things and building things with like popsicle sticks and like clay from my backyard. And it was something that I found a lot of joy in. And so it kind of became like this really big thing when I was younger that I lost sight of a little bit as I, you know, spent more time in school and got older. And so I've incorporated it more into my life through photography and that's what I do for my job. For my project proposal, I decided that because I am the photographer for marketing, I don't do a lot of my own personal work that like, you know, I have full control over with like stylizing and trying like new creative techniques with photography. And so I decided that what I wanted my project to be was once a week, I would choose people to photograph because I'm very interested in portraits and I would stylize them and I would try like something new and creative that I had been wanting to implement throughout the week. So the, the connection between, you know, the value and the plan is that I'd have to like implement something different, something new, and I'd have to figure out how to make it work with like my style or how I want to like portray my style, I guess. Um, and so after I do all of that, I'll edit all of the photos and then I will, I use the Visco app, the journaling section, and I just uploaded a few and then I journaled about my experience and what I learned and what I thought I did well at, what I thought I didn't do as well at and could improve on. And yeah, that was, that was it. I wanted to go through and point out some of the different things I tried to implement creatively. And so I'm just including one photo from each of the shoots that um, I felt like I was successful in. The first photo is of my friend Corey. And um, I really liked this photo because I feel a lot of emotion. And so I was trying to capture that emotion and just what Corey means to me. And this next one was actually the first shoot that I did. And it was just a portrait of my friend Allie because she gets these like crazy freckles after the summer. And so I just wanted like a simple photo to capture that. This one is of my friend Victoria. I did a portrait session of her while gallery photos recently because it's kind of taking the movement towards the highest quality possible of digital cameras and it's adding something funky. It's not really striving for the highest quality, but more of like an artistic image. And so this one just included movement and I, really, I was really excited about that. Um, this is my old roommate, Erica, and I just had her playing the saxophone in a field of flowers. And with this photo, I wanted to like frame her with the flowers. So that's what I implemented there. I did a shoot of my husband and my dog just in this pea patch. I liked this photo because I kind of cut it in half, having green on the left side and then meshing my husband's hair with the colors of the dirt. And so it split the image half and half. And then this was the shoot. We just used a tripod and took some fall photos. And I'd, I'd never really shot with a tripod before. So that's kind of what I did differently and tried to get creative with there. I did a shoot of one of my mentors, Bryn Willis, of her in her dark room, just in her element. And it was a little tricky because I had to use the red light because you can't have light in a dark room. But I was using light and shadows to still be able to tell the story of the image. Um, this was one of my favorite shoots and it was actually the last one that I did. It was of my friend Victoria and her boyfriend. And I really liked just the contrast of this image and the feeling and I took a couple and I just really wanted to get like a tiny bit of light coming through. And so this is probably the image that I'm most proud of and excited about. I did a photo series of Jonah Brown painting at the Double Decker. And this was just a shot of him through the window about to drive there. And so and I enjoyed the reflection and the texture of the window. And this was also a shoot that I was really excited about. I photographed my little sister just running on the beach and playing her violin. And this kind of incorporated the same thing that the other photo did with Victoria, where there's movement, it's not super crisp, and there's a lot of feeling, and it's more of an artistic choice rather than sharpness and accuracy, I guess, which is what a lot of photography is. How did this influence me emotionally? Um, I think when I made the plan, I was like, this is a great idea and this is something I'm really gonna enjoy. And I did for a lot of the shoots, um, especially the last one I was able to 
kind of accomplished what I had been aiming for, which is uh, really fulfilling and gratifying. And um, But it was a lot more work than I expected it to be. And I guess I didn't really expect negative emotions, but there were a couple of weeks where, you know, it got to the end of the week and I just had like a really full week of like work and homework and it was really hard to plan a shoot or have like the energy to plan a shoot. I, I did accomplish a lot more than I thought I was going to be able to. And I also learned about my ability to keep goals and push my creative limits and accomplish something. So at the end of the day, I um, do actually want to kind of continue doing this. And maybe not <laughs> once a week because that would be a little extreme. But I don't know, maybe once every couple of weeks, I'll just kind of keep up a shoot here and there. And I think it will continue to bring me a lot of joy.